Hello guys, Michaela here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another speed build. And today we are building with the new game pack that just came out a couple of days ago, uh, the Wearables um, game pack, which I was a bit skeptical about at first, to be completely honest, because I am not a big fan of occults and uh, things like that. But I must admit, I am pretty excited about um about the back now because the build and buy items are incredible i love building industrial style homes and the pack is just perfect for it so before i go any further i built an industrial hideout for two sims in the world of moonwood mill which is the world uh, that came with the new pack and it comes in at 32,628 simoleons i did not uh, go do completely restricted uh, build when it comes to packs but I did try to limit myself so there are four expansion packs uh, cottage living eco lifestyle discover university and get famous then I used the werewolves game pack plus parenthood and the little campers blooming rooms and industrial loft kits um, kits <laughs> So I tried to limit myself a little bit, but not much because I wanted to add a uh, kind of like a character to the build. So I'm incredibly excited. I initially thought I wouldn't have time to, to um, release the speed build, but I finished my exam on Wednesday, my, my big English exam that I've uh, talked about in my previous speed builds. I uh, passed with flying colors actually. And so I was incredibly excited to, to get uh, to enjoy some free time because now I have um, about a month where I can really take some time off, build, have fun and just relax before I have to start setting for my second uh, final which should be somewhere towards the end of August and um, uh, beginning of September which is really exciting and I've been building, I've been um, working on my bread bubble shops, I've been really uh, busy with, with that, just enjoying um, enjoying um, that I don't have to study right now which is really nice. Uh, now uh, so I've completely finished the shell of the house, I love these new windows, I absolutely love the character they add especially with this yellow swatch I just, I was, I'm in love, honestly, especially the windows and doors in this pack are gorgeous for like rustic builds, round down builds, industrial builds. I can't wait to use some more of them. I initially wanted to put the uh, not observatory. Um, I'm not sure how this thing is called, but it's really cute. And I initially wanted to put it up uh, under the stairs, but unfortunately it's not working there. So I had to put it uh, to the ground later on. And because I thought it could be like a cute hideout for like two maybe roommates that have friends over very often, I decided to give them like a backyard um, cinema. So I used um, some of the items from the little campers kit, which I thought was really cute. Uh, especially with the chair that came with the new werewolves pack because it looks like a movie cinema chair which i thought was really cool for like an outdoor um cinema and just imagine having a house like this living in a beautiful nature because the world is really stunning and just watching a movie outside when it's dark it would be a dream honestly a dream <laughs> Uh, I also placed some of the new planters, uh, the new um, trash can and the new mailbox and now we are working on the train paint. So this today's speed build is going to be very short. I initially had a beach house which was my um, entry to Kiwi Sim Skates um, Shell Challenge for this week but that's going to come next week because I really wanted to share um, this uh, with you because I was really excited to, to do that and yeah so now we've moved on to the interior I am using the counters from base game which I thought looked really cool I initially had I think different ones um, here but I thought this looked um, a lot better so here I'm adding a small bathroom and the upstairs where the bedroom is is actually a loft because I thought that it could be kind of cool to have that so it's like an old warehouse factory kind of thing this thing and the sims that live here kind of turn that old warehouse into a house um which i thought was really cool i used the new table and new chairs which i love the swatches of them especially i think i'm gonna get a lot of views of, of them for like a rustic build because they look 
incredible. Uh, about the pack that I talked about earlier, some of the packs that I used can be easily replaced because I only used like details. So for example, from Get Famous, I only used this one rug. Or from Parenthood, there's only that um, oven kind of thing. So if you want to, you can... Um, I think there are like a couple of packs that can be interchanged, which is mostly the expansion packs. Because I think from Eco Lifestyle, I only placed a sink in the bathroom um so yeah i think that's like the only thing that you need i think majority of the items are from the new uh pack but i did add things here and there uh, to make it look a little bit more um i don't know complete um i had a lot of fun building this and it did not really take a long time i mean considering how big or small this is I I was really excited to, to kind of get my hands on the pack and I normally wait for sales before I buy packs but I was so excited about the items in this one and about the world as well that I just had to give, get it um, sooner than that. I used the new bookcase here which I thought was really cute and I added, uh, I chose this like, yellowish swatch so it would fit with the windows. I also used this jute box from base game, which I've never used before, I think. But I thought, I don't know, it felt like it fit nicely here. I also used these curtain sort of things. I'm not really sure how to call these, to be honest. But I used those to kind of cover up the windows a little bit. But this, uh, these windows uh, where the TV is, um, there is the outdoor cinema behind them, so I thought it's not really necessary. And these, I think these two are my favorite items from the new pack. The um, dresser, like those like big luggage boxes, and the mirror with the moon in them. I love those, and I'm gonna overuse them for sure, because they are so freaking cute. And the fact that the luggage bags stack on top of each other are actually a dresser is just amazing, and I am incredibly excited about this. I'm sorry, I think I'm saying the word, uh, the combination incredibly excited a bit too much in, um, in during this build but I'm I don't know I just love how this build turned out I love I don't know I don't think I, I, I have been ex this excited about a pack in quite some time because it just looks gorgeous the items are incredible they are kind of versatile they look incredible with um, industrial style builds and I can't wait to build more industrial styled homes with this because it's, yeah, <laughs> I'm, yeah, can you tell I'm really excited about this? It's uh, awesome. Um, so now I'm just cluttering up the kitchen a little bit. I think we're going to then move on to the bathroom and then we're going to go upstairs to do the bedroom. So there is no double bed that came with the pack, but I wanted to use the single beds that we got. So I used two single beds. So I thought that maybe these uh, pe the people that lived here could be like roommates, maybe two werewolves living here together, friends who just kind of bought this house, renovated it maybe, I don't know. But I thought it was kind of like a nice detail because as I said, I wanted to use as much items from the pack as possible. So that's why I wanted to kind of use the new bag that we got from the pack. I did not use the bunk bed and I did not use all of the items because there's a lot of them, but I tried to use as much as I could um, to, to, to kind of show off. I really love what I did here with the mirror and the uh, sink from Eco Lifestyle because it fits really nice and the swatch is very, sim uh, very um, similar. So I thought it was like a nice um, touch, kind of looked really cohesive and together. And now we are working on the upstairs bedroom, which is pretty simple. There are just two beds, some seating, a mirror, some murals from the new pack, which are, again, incredible. I love the colors, I love the style, and I think industrial builds are going to look amazing with those. So I can't wait to do some more industrial looking um, builds in the future. And yeah, so that's pretty much everything from today's speed build. I'm just adding some decorations here and there, just kind of to um, fill up the space, to be honest, uh, because I didn't really know what to put up here. Um, so I am putting this mural, it's amazing. I love it and I'm gonna use it all the time. Um, anyway, 
we are almost at the end of today's speed build so thank you guys so much for stopping by i really appreciate it if you enjoyed this video please consider giving a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already it would mean a lot to me if you want to download this build you can get it on my gallery my id is michaela sims yt or you can get the tray files in the description box below on my ko-fi page thank you and i will see you in my next video bye